أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء وعلى إمام المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم أما بعد I on behalf of Alapibia Islamic Society I want to welcome each and every one of us to this special training enlightenment program for our religious leaders I welcome our guest speaker Ustaz Abaka Sadiq we thank you we appreciate you I thank all the participants for coming. We thank you and I pray and I hope that this will be the beginning of good things in our life. And I want to especially also want to welcome and thank the management team of Project Eat Halal, right from the project coordinator, uh, the grant officer, the accounting officer, and all other supporting staff. I welcome you all to this program, to Al Habibia here. Perhaps many of us who have been involved in the program we have been doing before, that is Project Eat Fry. We are starting a new program called Eat Halal, which means we have to watch what we eat. We have to learn, we have to understand, know the sources of our income. And the essence here is for us to manage and to monitor how we survive. Because as religious leaders, we have dual responsibility of taking care of the Ummah in the mosque and wherever we find ourselves and taking care of our home. If we do not have any reasonable sources of in source or sources of income, we might end up supporting and encouraging corruption in the land. But if we have a very uh, legal source of income and very reliable, very sustainable, we will be able to do our duty with fear of Allah, we'll be able to say the right thing. And it is because of this we now invite people who are religious leaders and yet they are into big time business. We welcome Ustaz Abaka Sadiq, who we all know him is one of the best Muslim entrepreneurs which we have gotten among us. It's our pride. We thank you, we welcome you. And also Ustaz uh, uh, Imam Dr. Tajuji Najigo, we want to thank him also. We have invited him. He's an imam and he has a lot of business conglomerates. I'm afraid to introduce him as a, a billionaire, the two of them. I don't want people to know that they are billionaires, but they are actually working for Islam. Once again, I welcome you all.